I can't believe what Progressive Snapshot has did to my engine. You're not gonna believe this. This program by Progressive Insurance Company to save money on your monthly insurance could be causing a lot of controversy with a potential class action lawsuit starting up. And unfortunately, I have the proof of why that may just be the case. With a great offer to potentially save 10, 20, 30% or more on your monthly auto insurance bill, all you have to do is plug this in. But it all started when we just plugged this into my wife's car. Then we just started the vehicle up and began driving. After some time driving, we noticed several lights come on and that was some sort of brake warning light among other issues such as the check engine light. Listen closely, this is what happened shortly after that while driving multiple times on the road just to try and make it home. That's right, it died in the middle of the road multiple times. Now this happened with her Scion TC. I'll go ahead and show you next just what I did, what anyone would do. So when they have codes, we gotta check them out to see what the problem is. I'll show you the actual results from that vehicle. I noticed multiple codes come on all at once when it previously had zero. One of which was for the O2 sensor, another for the brake system, another potentially for the charging system and for the computer. So looking into all these issues and doing diagnostics with multiple options of which the problem it could actually be, one of which would be the charging system calling all of these issues like the battery um, within the wiring or actually the computer itself in the alternator. And it could also just be each device in general. But voltage being a common denominator, I soon to realize that it was actually this device, the snapshot. So I decided to unplug the snapshot. Now they say if you unplug the OBD2 device, you can do so for so many days or turn it off. However, what I would recommend is checking with the rules this, they said, would not make the insurance go up. I had so long to do this or turn it in if I decided not to keep it. Now, if not, they'll charge you a fee if you keep it and you don't use it. So my next move after unplugging it was going into the system to test my theory. Then the next move would be to check out my codes and then erase them. Guys, always check with qualified personnel. Make sure that if you're deleting this information that you've checked it out thoroughly, you know what you're doing, and this way you know it's not just something else. So now it would appear that we are ready. And once I did this, it was pretty simple from there on out. I just waited and drove the vehicle, but make sure to do so with caution. This may help you out a lot, guys, because I don't know about you, but you do not want someone to diagnose something, which actually the problem is your new device. Again, just knowing the history of your vehicle and noting when you actually use this device could make a big difference. Don't forget, they do have an app you can use. However, the app must stay locked on your phone at all times. Yes, your phone needs to stay locked. Don't forget this. They can get you for hard braking. They can get you for phone usage. So if you try to unlock your phone and use it while you're driving, typically they know if you're the driver or passenger. They also know with extreme acceleration. They also give options to make changes and so many changes are allowed typically. So take all these things into consideration. Just like I said, it can make your insurance go up or it can make your insurance go down. However, you obviously shouldn't be using your phone while driving. As always guys, thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Make sure you do 
all your research information check with qualified professionals before performing basically anything you want to be 100 percent safe and have all the information and knowledge thank you for your kindness